I'm Shane Jolly and welcome to Luxury Escapes, a new television series that takes viewers on a journey to the world's best holidays. It's one of the safest and most affordable destinations in Southeast Asia, and it has some of the friendliest people on this planet. There's a dynamic culture here, forged over 4,000 years, and it's evolving into a cosmopolitan playground. Welcome to Luxury Escapes, and one of the world's best holidays can be found right here in Vietnam. My incredible Vietnam adventure begins in the beautiful Hoi An. This history-laden town has become a traveler's hotspot because of its unique blend of Vietnamese culture with Western influences. While I'm here, I'm staying at the absolutely magnificent intercontinental Da Nang Sun Peninsula Resort. It's only a short drive from Hoi An and is nestled in the hills above the incredible and private Monkey Bay. All the stunning rooms here look out to the resort's exclusive beaches and the amenities in them are absolutely first class. The Intercontinental was voted the leading luxury resort of Asia in 2016, and it's easy to see why. Part of the resort's attraction is its innovative listing of restaurants and bars. Didier Jacob is the head chef at the Barefoot Restaurant, and he is a firm believer in tantalizing the eyes as well as the palate. So like Da Nang is very, very good with the seafood. I'm just going to prepare you a nice little seafood platter. I allowed myself to cook a few of them. As you can see, they look nice and, and juicy. So actually, I come with a trolley and serve it in front of a guest. I saw that a nice, beautiful restaurant in Chicago, the technique, and I just tried to make it happen. So we have a sour mashed potato, who go well with a lemon and it go well with the seafood. We have a smoked pumpkin puree. It's an old recipe of mine that I carry now for the past six years. I don't change it up because I love it. It go well with the seafood and it go well with the nice meat. You can see these little herbs, these are the herbs that come from the mountain. Uh, it's the sour herbs, lots of color, notes of different flavor. And I just love having that on the plate, you know, uh, instead of all the time using lemon. Now on the oyster here, the oyster is from Natsan. This oyster is just amazing. And bring this little Vietnamese touch with a nice tomato sauce, a little bit of lemongrass, pine nuts. I don't want to kill the flavor of lemon. So just to please everybody, a few little slices of lemon if somebody wants some more acidity on it. Here we go. This is our seafood platter coming up in a Barefoot Restaurant soon. Thank you so much. The Intercontinental houses the fabulous Long Bar. It's a perfect place to laze away the hours watching the beach while enjoying a drink or two. So it's one of the longest bars in the world with a sea view. As you can see, very comfortable, long bed, six beds of them, so you sit. I can yes. quite easily see myself lying out there with a nice little mojito safe, to be honest. <laughs> Absolutely, and we're going we're gonna to share with you some nice cocktails yeah. to, to, to try. And, um, Great. And to, so as you can see here, we, oh, um, so we carefully wow. selected our cocktail collection. So when you come to this place, you don't have the usual traditional cocktail to, to drink or to enjoy. It looks very fancy, safe, I it, have to say. It, it, it is. It is. It actually has a very beautiful story behind. The, the cocktail made with the idea is a monkey cocktail collection as we the whole resort is built in, in the Monkey Bay. And uh, if you look at the monkeys around the resort, they are always um, different signage. So you see a monkey doing like that or like this. The idea is deaf monkey, blind monkey. So this cheeky example, monkey, I saw something. Cheeky up monkey, there as well. ab ab absolutely, absolutely. And this is artful monkey. And this cocktail is is very simple: rum, Malibu, pineapple with with lime and parsley, wow. which is a typical um, Vietnamese flavors reflected in the cocktail. All designed, all created by our own team here. Sounds very refreshing. So it, I can't wait. It to is. Try it this is, one. especially with the lime, with the parsley, uh, with the Malibu. It's very beautiful. When you're staying in Hoi An, visiting the World Heritage listed Old Town is an absolute must. With the architectural influences of the Japanese, Chinese and the French from their various times of occupation of the city. 
The Old Town is a unique and fascinating walk dotted with shops, pagodas and market stalls. It's a little wonder this is the fastest growing Southeast Asian tourist destination for Australians. It is absolutely beautiful. Part of Hoi An's rich history is its river. In the early 18th century, the river was one of the most important trading ports in Asia, but was eventually superseded by neighbouring Da Nang. This makes for a fascinating journey back in time when travelling upon it. Coming up, I take Hoi An's most popular food tour and cover myself in affordable style. Vietnamese food is certainly one of the reasons I was excited to visit here. Van runs the Green Bamboo Cooking School. This is a fascinating all-day tour that starts at the Hoi An food markets. Here your hat. Okay, my hat. And it's on. The basket. Basket, basket ready to get all yeah. uh, all the uh, fruit Hoi, and veg. Yeah. Yeah. All the food. Fantastic. All right. Should we okay. go? Let's go to the market. Hoi An market. Markets. Yeah. Okay. How many dishes will we do today? Uh, we got to make four. Four dishes. Four dishes? Yeah. Van, I have to say up front, I'm not much of a cook, so this is going to be really interesting. No worry at all. What are we picking today? Today we buy chilies. We got to have lemongrass and chili. Yes, love chili. So, uh, and the second ingredient we have, it's very common, is this one. Uh, what have we got here? That's lemongrass, yeah? Yes. Perfect. And this? This one is very heavy spices, but not, not many people know. But what is that? Turmeric. Ah, oh, you use a lot of turmeric over here in your cooking? A lot. Cooking? It's very ah. healthy for you. Antioxidant. Antioxidants, great. Yeah. That as well. So, actually we have six ingredients that are cooking in Vietnamese food. Six. Which is lemongrass, yes. chili, chili, turmeric, ginger. What are the other two? Uh, red onion. Yay, you're right. That's the shallots. What else? One more, the white one. Garlic, of course. How could we forget garlic? Garlic, yeah. Right, so a bit of garlic as well. No, yeah. that's great. The markets are full of a vast array of food, so everything is here. These markets are also a wonderful insight into how the locals live their lives. Van has a fantastic setup at home where you're warmly invited to help cook delicious traditional cuisine unique to the Hoi An area. So is this a traditional yeah, yeah, Hoi An dish? Hoi An dish. It's called Tao Lao. It's so cooked with pork crumb. And so the noodle, the smoked brown noodle. So first we have to brown the meat first. Right. It is really well with the marinade. How long does it take to cook this one? This one takes a little bit long time. Is it? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Khao Lao is usually cooked with noodles and greens to accompany the pork. The dish dates back to Hoi An's days as a buzzing trading port and it has seen many variations over that time. Van's secret ingredient is rice vodka on her prawns. I think I've just singed my eyebrows. Yes. <laughs> so you have to weigh and do they split the shell on the back. It smells so good. And so with the Hoi An local noodles. Right. No one make this one. The whole Vietnam, only Hoi An. That's it, it's just in Hoi An. Yeah. So are these yeah. all uh, local dishes? Yes. Hoi An, specific yeah. to Hoi An. Oh, incredible. And then your presentation is just unbelievable. With your hat, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my, I help so much. And your much. cooking. Along with unique cuisine, Hoi An is renowned for clothing. There are literally hundreds of tailors here. In fact, the industry is so big, silk moth manufacturers have emerged in the town to help keep up with the demand. If you're after an affordable tailor-made suit or one-off dress, then look no further. But with competition so fierce, it's advisable to go with the reputable suppliers. And one of the best here is Bebe. What can we do for you today? I'd love a suit, Guy, if I could get I a suit. I think we can sort that out for That'd you. That'd be amazing. Come this way. Yeah. Thanks, Guy. Should we have a look at this fabric here? Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's got a small check in the back, which is the style at the moment. Yes, that's. A, I think that's a. That really what do you suits, think, That suits you, mate. Yeah? It really does. It really does. Yeah, I like the. Oh, I really like that. Once you've chosen your preferred fabric and style, your measurements are taken and you're ready to go. Well, guys, you've made this so easy for me, so um, I'll see you in six hours' time. Six hours it is. Look forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Guy and his team make these handmade suits incredibly quickly, and Baby's quality is second to none. Now I'm ready to look my best in the hustle and bustle of Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, we're looking. <laughs> You're looking good. You're looking good for the first fitting. Um, feels good. Fe yeah, feels nicer. Eh? Right. Feels great. Really what sharp. Do you, what do you think? You're the big boss around here. What do you think? A bit tight. And the trouser, the bottom here, we made a little bit smaller and a little yeah. bit shorter. Let me just have a look at the back one second. It does feel good, eh? Hen, I have to say. Yeah. And it's at this point we start putting it all together ah. against your body. Sometimes it goes to a second fitting, but not, not that often. Right. And then, but that's only minute. Tell you that, what. That's us being picky. Mate, we've got, <laughs> I was going to say, we've got pretty close. We're, we're, we're is, doing, uh, for the first fitting, that's looking great, it's fella. Great. Looking feels great. great, too. OK, Shane, everything good? Mate, absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Seriously. A pleasure to meet you, Oh, fella. Likewise, mate. Oh, likewise. Right. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of it, Anna. Thanks, will do, definitely. Sadly, my time in this captivating town must end, but my experiences here have been wonderful and I will definitely come here again. If you want to enjoy the best hotels in Hoi An, visit luxuryescapes.com or text Hoi An to 0476 857 406. Coming up, I visit one of the most vibrant cities in Southeast Asia. Ho Chi Minh has had a long and sometimes tumultuous history, but today it's a thriving modern city that has a vibrancy all of its own. Still known as Saigon to the locals, Ho Chi Minh is literally a city on the move. Its combination of historic culture and rapid technological growth makes this a truly unique and exciting holiday for the traveller. My Ho Chi Minh experience starts at the luxurious Le Meridian, a fantastic hotel in the heart of the CBD. Its thoroughly modern suites are a mix of Parisian chic and Vietnamese heritage. The hotel reflects the same attitudes as Ho Chi Minh itself, proud of the city's history, but ready to embrace the new Vietnam. In terms of what we offer our guests, we're, we're very much about cultural heritage with mm. Le Meridian, so we like to link uh, the brand and our hotel here with the historic nature of the city. Great. So we, uh, being a French brand as well, we have, a, we have a nice marriage Yes. with the city, so to speak. We've got a number of service elements in the hotel that recognise the historic nature of where we sit. All of our artwork in the hotel yeah, I've noticed that. pays homage to, um, to how far uh, Ho Chi Minh's come in the last, say, 15, 20 years. Yeah. So I think uh, from that perspective, guests that stay here will certainly experience something that they actually won't see anywhere else because we're so focused on the, on the cultural heritage side of uh, how we do business. Well, Justin, one thing I've really noticed about Ho Chi Minh is it's an emerging cosmopolitan city. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I can, Shane. It's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting place to be, certainly for the next five, six years, in my opinion. Yeah. We're a new hotel here at La Meridian, uh, Saigon, right on the banks of the Saigon River. Uh, I always thought Dubai was the crane capital of the world. Yes. And I actually think now uh, uh, Saigon's uh, definitely holding that prize. Like the amount of construction, development is absolutely... Uh, extremely fast paced and I think uh, Ho Chi Minh is the place to be in the next uh, three to four years as I mentioned. The personality in the city is really coming to, uh, to life. Yeah. Ho Chi Minh is defining itself as I think the next cosmopolitan Asian hub and with its affordability uh, I think uh, there's no reason why people should not be here uh, within the foreseeable future. For the luxury traveller coming here, um, where should they go? I mean, obviously there's a lot of hidden gems here as well. I'm not a usual tourist guy. I like to get off the beaten path a little bit, so I like to recommend people that stay with us to, to, to really discover the back alleys, uh, the small hidden streets, yeah. uh, where yeah. there's absolutely an, uh, an amazement of, of uh, restaurants, bars popping up, cosmopolitan boutiques, yeah. Yeah. and really uh, some solid um, Vietnamese chefs that have either studied overseas and come back. Uh, outside of that, you've got your, your your usual hot spots like the Notre Dame Cathedral, the Post Office, which is historic, designed by a, yeah. a famous architect. The uh, history in, in in Vietnam here that still lives and breathes in in, in the culture here today. Yeah. And of course, most cities come to life in the evening. Yeah. Um, and you will have seen this uh, in the last couple of days, oh. but. Ho Chi Minh comes to life at night. Oh, it sure does. Uh, it's, it's, it's a place to be. Mm. It really captures your attention. One of the incredible hidden gems I discovered here was the eclectic Liasan. 
The coffee shop, come art gallery, come fashion outlet is part of the new wave of concept stores sweeping this city. It was an art gallery uh, at, the, at the beginning okay. and um, it's been moving through the time. Yeah, but it's more than that too, isn't it? It's very unique, this place. When you arrive, you just find out that this is a coffee, but also a concept store, right? So with some clothes and, um, and a shop that we, um, uh, where, where we like to promote uh, local uh, designer and uh, artists. Is it just local artists or do you have... Not only. We, we really want to provide an experience, something very special. Um, it, saying that, I'd love to have a bit more of a look around if we could. Sure. I love your artwork as well here. Well, thank you very much. This is a Thai artist. His name is Big Pai Wet. And our creative manager uh, used to like his work. And she asked him if he would be interested to uh, make some exhibition about Ho Chi Minh exclusively for Luzin. Right. We, we like to believe that Luzin is kind of a platform so where our customer can find at the same time some international brand and um, but also some uh, local artists uh, or designer um, that we would like to promote. So it's, it's a bit of a mix of accessories, men's clothes, shoes, uh, ladies' clothes, uh, games. Luzin is a real lifestyle. It's not only a coffee, it's not only a store, it's a real lifestyle. Yeah. After the break, I experience Ho Chi Minh's iconic opera house and the coolest bar in the city. The Saigon Opera House is one of Ho Chi Minh's most famous and beloved buildings, and like the city, has experienced a colourful history. Built over a hundred years ago in the French classical style, the Opera House is home to the amazing Loon Entertainment Group. They produce incredible contemporary dance and acrobatic spectaculars based on various aspects of Vietnamese life. They are interpreted to the stage by the talented Tuan Le. And tell us a little bit about tonight's performance. What, what, are, we ex what are we expecting? So tonight uh, we are playing the uh, newest creation of uh, our team. It's called uh, Teda. Teda. Yeah, it's uh, uh, the language from the minority ethnic uh, area uh, from Bana, from Vietnam. And it's, it's, the meaning is like uh, going in a circle because uh, we found a very interesting culture elements what you can find anywhere else in the world. With the music, what they have, and uh, with the people, where they come from, that is the basic inspiration that we start to build this creation. So it's the inspiration behind the Vietnamese people and where they've come from? Yes, so, right. exactly. And uh, well known here in the city of Saigon, is this the show about the culture and about the people from this area from the south. And of course, there is a lot of uh, traditional music, uh, sound and element you can find, but also a lot of creative and uh, contemporary movement and ideas behind that. Sure. And you've got, you were born here and you've got a performing arts background, is that right? Yes, I, I used to perform on this, this same stage when I was uh, six, seven years old as wow. a juggler because I come from an artist family. Yes. And do you still perform yourself? Because your background, you've also been in Cirque du Soleil. No, no, no not anymore. I not practice anymore? time by time juggling, yes. I used to be a juggler. I work uh, in Europe and all around the world and with Cirque du Soleil. My majority job is here to uh, build uh, different uh, projects and creating with them something more and more unique. As well as holding on to its traditions, there are examples everywhere of Ho Chi Minh embracing rapid growth and change. The Chill Bar sits 58 floors above the ground and symbolises the rise of this city as a cosmopolitan hotspot. Because we're in Asia, we're in Vietnam, it's, you know, it's culture. Yeah. You know, that's culture was, you know, it's, it's so important here, you know. When you travel to different places, you know, you fly off a radius, you know, for an hour, Cambodia, Thailand, uh, Singapore, like I said, Hong Kong, different cultures, different, you know, and, and traditions. True. Uh, and, you know, there's no different Vietnam itself, too. But Vietnam, you know, it's, just, it's been evolved, like the yeah. past five years, you know, or more, it's been, you know, it's developing. Yeah. Right? From the music scene, the nightlife, the club, the restaurant, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, 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 it's catching up. 
So the locals are obviously embracing it, you know, embracing it. Correct, you know, they're embracing the music scene, they're embracing the hospitality, you know. As you can, as you know, you know, Vietnam's a young population, you know, they're willing to spend but on the right, you know, environment, right overall value experience. Right, from the atmosphere, from, 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 from the product, and from the service. You have a lot of international tourists and locals alike that comes here as well, too. Yeah. And we, we, we cater to all, you know, the mass market. People come up here for the view, yeah. you know, it's a sunset, uh, sunset hour when they come up around 6, 6.30. Beautiful, you know, Amazing. it's actually right the sunset and, you know, all these snapshots of photos. <laughs> well, I will certainly be back, Mr. Chalet, for sure. Thank you for having us here tonight. Well, thank you for having me tonight here. I might go down and uh, take a photo down at that bar. If you want to experience the best hotels in Ho Chi Minh, visit luxuryescapes.com or text Ho Chi Minh to 0476 857 406. Both Ho Chi Minh and Hoi An offer incredible experiences and give a wonderful insight into the beauty, the history and exciting changes that are occurring in Vietnam. I loved every aspect of this amazing country and I can't wait to come back and see more of it. Well, that's it for Series 1 of Luxury Escapes, the world's best holidays. I hope you can join me again for a very exciting Series 2.